Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. It's Dr. Jack. In this vlog, you'll see a recap of some of the important events that happened during April, May, and June. Hope you enjoy. Oh, hey y'all. Let me see. This is looking fuzzy. Hold on one second. Oh, y'all. I was supposed to get out here and talk to you guys way, way early. I went to the store. But this morning, I um, at 8 o'clock, I had to travel an hour uh, and 15 minutes away from my home to go and take my comprehensive exam because you know I'm in a clinical mental health program, getting my degree in that program. And yeah, I was just so stressed because I was studying and you know, like I was telling my kids, my son after the fact and my daughter after the fact, um, she was like, mom, well anyway, I passed, but I was so nervous going into it because I had just filled myself with so much doubt by focusing solely on my deficiencies, on my deficits, and ignoring all of my strengths, which was not the right thing to do. This is, it was a comprehensive exam. So naturally, it was gonna cover everything that I had learned from the beginning of the program up until the end. That's a lot of information. So it stands to reason that some things I may have, you know, kind of, tucked away in the file cabinet of my mind and threw away the key to, to that information. But I was so concerned about the things that I did not remember or that I did not know or on the practice test, the answers that I got incorrect, that I just filled myself with so much doubt. And that, you know, influenced me to a point where I was just nervous and anxious. And so last night before the test, I, I had to bring myself back together, even though I was still nervous this morning, I was still shaky, you know, I think some of that was just a little bit of anxiety, but I teach test taking skills, so I know test anxiety can cause you not to do well. Well, anyway, I overcame, <laughs> I overcame, I talked myself down, after all, I am in clinical mental health counseling, and I have a doctorate in student development, so uh, developmental psychology, so... I said, you know what, let me get my life together. And so I did, thank God I was able to rein it in to a point where I could focus on the exam and have confidence in knowing that the items that I knew I was gonna get right. The items that I, the information I knew I would get those right. The information that I sorta of knew, I could use the process of elimination to get those right. And then the information that I didn't know, I was gonna guess. And I was going to do, use educated guesses, things that were absolutely, positively, unequivocally not possible as an answer. I was gonna eliminate those, just like with the process of elimination, which increases my uh, the odds that I'll get the answer right. And so I did that, I did well, I scored pretty high, um, not gonna share my score, but it was well above what I needed to uh, pass. And I give God praise, thank God for that. And I said all that to say, don't focus on what you don't have. Focus on what you do have. Now, that's not to say to forget about what you don't have, but that means don't put so much emphasis on what you do not have that you forget that you have some strengths that you can actually build on. Okay, don't do that. Don't don't be like me. Okay, don't waste time focusing on the negative and the, you know, all of that when you could actually be building up what you already know. Because on a test like the CPCE that I just took, you're not penalized for guessing. So I answer every every question, you know, because you just might get it right. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, so. Just want to hop on and tell you that. Uh, hope everybody's having a great day. Hope everything is working in your favor. And uh, I'm gonna chat with y'all a little bit later. Whoop, whoop, pass. Oh, graduation is coming up May 13th. I will be, um, I'm not walking in the graduation. I'll be uh, at my son's art show on that day. But nonetheless, I shall be celebrating. All right, guys, chat with you soon. Hey y'all, how y'all doing? Welcome back to Dr. Jack of All Trades vlog. I don't know if this is the beginning, the ending, the middle, what? I don't know. Y'all have not been 
vlogging regularly because it's the end of the semester. As you all know, I am a college professor. And sorry about that, um, the Bluetooth connected. I hope y'all are having a great day. I am so sorry uh, that I haven't been, um, it's probably been a minute since you saw a vlog um, because uh, it is the end of the semester and I have to grade students uh, comprehensive exams, their qualifying papers, their uh, final exams. I'm also teaching. I'm also the administrator of the Institutional uh, re Review Board um, and all the other things that I'm doing. Um, so, yeah. And I try to pump out videos for my wonderful uh, YouTube family. I appreciate you guys so much. I really, really do. If you are new and this is your first time, you stop right now. Uh, hit that subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up. And join the Dr. Jack of All Trades tribe. All right, guys, I'm headed to work to graduation practice because um, graduation is day after tomorrow for the spring semester. Congratulations to all of those. Congratulations to everyone who has, uh, you know, achieved that wonderful feat. I am actually due to graduate on Saturday, but I will not be in town for that. Um, so I will not be walking in the graduation, but, um, it's okay, I'm thankful, um, and I'm going to be celebrating that wonderful feat. Uh, yes, lifelong learning. Just because you get a doctorate, although it is called a terminal degree, does not, believe, does not mean that you stop learning, that you stop pursuing goals. Keep pursuing if you want to, yeah, why not? But anywho, uh, I am headed to uh, graduation practice. I hope everyone's having a great day. I will check back in uh, in a little bit. I need to run uh, to Shreveport. To, I have a package that I need to pick up from the Dillard's. I ordered something from Dillard's and um, it was shipped to the store. So I'm going to go and I guess I could have had them ship it to my house. I don't know why. Well, I do know why. It was free shipping to the store. <laughs> That's why. Okay, y'all. Let me get out of here. All right. Y'all have a good one. See you. Ah, good morning, uh, everybody. How y'all doing? It is uh, a beautiful day. As you can see, all the rain, <laughs> and I'm headed to the office. It has been um, uh, one of uh, uh, somewhat of a different type of a spring for us here in the south. It, it hasn't. It's been warm the last couple days, but it's been also rainy, which is you know we, we're good with it. I'm not complaining because it rains. Rain is a part of life. But anywho, how y'all doing? <laughs> I'm doing well. I am headed to. Uh, End of the semester faculty meeting. End of the semester. Students gone. Yeah, graduation is tomorrow. So we're going to go and we're going to see what our fair president um, has to share with us. I'm anxious to hear and, you know, be kept abreast of things. Um, going out of town. Uh, in a couple days, well, day after tomorrow, I'll be headed out of town. We're celebrating uh, my son. He is in an art show. I graduate on Saturday, although I will not be walking because I'm going to Dallas for um, that, for my son's art show. And it's Mother's Day and anniversary weekend. We were married on May 14th, 1999. And so on May 14th, we will be actually headed back home because on May 15th, I've got to go to Lake Charles and I'll be there for a couple days and then I'll be back home and then I'm headed to Birmingham that Friday. So I'll come back Wednesday. I'm home uh, Wednesday and Thursday, then headed back out on Friday to Birmingham. I'll be back and then I'm going to Atlanta on that Monday lots of moving around and then I'll be back I'll be back in town until sometime June like June 20th or something and then I'm going to Baton Rouge and then uh, after that coming back and we are headed out of town for a family vacation I cannot say because my grandkids watch and I cannot let them know where we're going but I'll take you guys along on that trip okay so yeah that is uh, what's happening. 
today. Just got a busy few months. July, I think, will be my, my vacation month where I can just chill because I, I don't think I'm going to teach any courses. I have a couple courses on the schedule, but they are not going to make because, um, yeah, I, they, they need to have at least five students in each of them. And if they don't have that, they won't make it. So, um, I'm going to take off July. I'm already declaring that I shall be resting and enjoying July. Because my grandkids from Birmingham are going to be staying with us for a little while. It's such a nasty day. But I hope you guys are having a great one. You all take care and I'll check back in in a bit. Hey y'all, how's everybody doing? Yeah, this weather is so bad, but I wanted to show you, I went shorter on my nails. Um, it's a, just a baby blue color with the chrome on it. Um, yeah, I just went shorter because I want to get this acrylic off and start over uh, with my nails uh, because going to these other places to get them done, it just didn't turn out as nice and they just don't do a good job. And I don't wear a tip or anything, so. Let's start, I'm going to let my nails grow, but anywho. It's graduation day, and I am headed to the graduation trying to get you an OOTD. This is just a little uh, top that I got from Amazon, the drop, and a little black uh, pleated skirt that I haven't worn in a while. Has a little uh has a little leather band at the top. Of course, I got my regalia, and I got on my board, but this is the outfit. Yes, I'm showing a little skin, but it'll be under my robe. You won't be able to see it, um, but this is the outfit. And also, you get a look at how I look since I've lost almost 50 pounds. Turn this way. All right, I'm out. So this graduation was really very special. This is my niece, my late brother's only child. And she graduated um, from the same university that I graduated from, the university that I work at. Um, I'm sorry the, the view is kind of bad because I'm sitting on the stage <laughs> recording her because I served as Marshall again for the graduation, as you saw. But anywho, this is my niece, Jalen. She got the um, bachelor's degree in kinesiology, and we are so very, very proud of her. And I know my brother is in heaven. So he was smiling down, all smiles. And also the rapper E-40 received an honorary doctorate from uh, my institution. I was actually in undergrad when um, E-40 was in undergrad at Grambling State University. was lucky enough to get a picture with E40 after the graduation and I took lots of photos with my niece and our family who were all there to celebrate her. I know my brother was so proud in heaven just smiling down on his only child. So the next day hubby and I packed up and went to Dallas for my uh, son's art show. He was in another art show and uh, we wanted to go and support. We always try to go and support our babies wherever they may be. And my son loves art. He's a phenomenal artist. And so we decided to uh, forgo going to my graduation and uh, instead attend his art show. And because it was our um, 24 year anniversary on the following day, and it was also Mother's Day, we decided to make a little weekend celebration of it. Just celebrating me, celebrating my son, celebrating our marriage and each other. 
So in Dallas, we stayed at the Hall Arts Hotel, which is situated in the heart of the art district in Dallas. Um, this is a really nicely appointed hotel. I wish I had gotten more video of the lobby area and the outside of the hotel. It's really beautiful. There's lots of lovely artwork throughout. Um, it's right near my son's apartment and it is near where the art show was taking place. It's, it was really, really beautiful. I'm just trying to get um, some video footage of the room. I'm not doing a really good job. The lighting, I just could not get it to cooperate with me. But I will tell you, the hotel room was really nice. It's nicely appointed. It's small, it was a very small room. But um, what they say, this is how they re-envision luxury hotels. So it was really nice and my husband and I enjoyed it and had a really wonderful time. is real. I am having so many problems trying to get some good lighting. RBC, a global financial institution with over 100 You have to stand face this way because the lighting is in my face. It was at this point I just gave up. I said, come on, honey, let's go. It's getting late. And so he said, well, I'll just record and try to get uh, some footage of you um, walking and trying to see if we can get this full body shot. So he did pretty good, you know. Kudos to the hubs for trying to help a sister out. I appreciate that because, you know, filming and all that he said, you know, that's not um, something that he um, is – Gr the greatest dad, but he will try to do it. So I'm thankful for his assistance. So um, now we're going to just make our way on to the venue for the art show.
So when we uh, finally made it to my son's booth, he had a small crowd of people that he was talking to. Um, just They were really inquiring about his art. And let me just tell you, this showing was amazing for him. He completely sold out all of the artwork that he had on display. We are so very proud of him. He um, learned from his previous art show that everything that he showcased needed to be cohesive. So he uh, showcased his uh, Basquiat-inspired neo-expressionism uh, collection of artwork. The pieces ranged from 1000 to about five or $6,000 each. And my baby sold out. He sold every piece and we are so very, very proud of him. Um, uh, he has worked hard. He has uh, been perfecting his craft, learning as much as he can. And let me tell you, baby boy is doing it and we could not be happier. So kudos to Cool Jack Images, um, who is really making his family proud and having fun while <laughs> Cause the whole world outside Sun in my eye A curl in my ride Head in the sky We gon' make it if we try But you never die Wings you can fly But you by my side this morning Leaving um, the other art fair it was really nice. Um, my son had an amazing day. He sold just about all of his art, so he did well. I am excited for him and what the future holds for him. The weather held up. I was so afraid that it was gonna rain and I wasn't gonna get to wear my cute little dress, but the weather held up. It's cloudy right now, but it's not as humid as it was when we arrived, so I am very much so happy about that. So now we are going to, I don't know. I don't know what we're going to do, but we're going to do something. Um, we have dinner reservations for a little later on. 
So right now we probably would just ride around, maybe go and get two drinks or something. But um that's that. Hey, hey,
sorry. But we are back at the hotel. Um, dinner was nice. The art show was nice. Everything was really lovely. Um, I'm sorry I didn't really get a good picture of what I had on. I'm gonna turn the camera around, see if you can see it. Turn, turn this uh, off. Maybe you can see it. So, and then you can see um, how I look. I was gonna put some a side by side from the last time that I attended. So this is not a side by side, but this is a clip from a vlog that I did back in October of 2022. We were attending my son's first art show. Um, and so you can kind of see um, what I looked like pre-VSG. Yeah, it is amazing um, that, you know, to see the before and afters, even for me, because I um, did not realize, you know, what how my, my weight had kind of just ballooned out of control. But um, yeah, this is me. I loved my hair. I loved me still at this point, you know, but I just knew I needed to do something about the, um, the weight gain. And so, yeah, I just wanted you guys to kind of see, you know, the before and after. So you can kind of see where I was. You can see uh, in my face how, um, you know, kind of fluffy my face was and all of that. And I think I said October 2023 at the beginning of this, but um, I meant October 2022. But yeah, okay. That I came to the art show here, um, and you can see how I looked um, and kind of compare as far as weight loss, because that was probably around my largest weight. Um, but yeah. And then I did my hair. When I came back to the room, I just pent some of it up, some up, some down. And I like this better than what I did with my hair for uh, tonight. <laughs> so, but anywho, maybe I'll wear it like this tomorrow. But these are just some little shoes that I got from Steve Madden. Uh-oh. Well, actually, I got them from Dillard's. I ordered them from Steve Madden, but they never showed up. They never shipped. And so I just got my money back and ordered them from Dillard's and had them delivered to the local Dillard's and I got them like in two days. So should have done that first. But anywho, I am going to, uh, my husband's in there taking a shower. I let him go ahead and take a shower first. And then I'm going to go take a shower. And then we're going to call it a night. I am exhausted. This has been a busy week for both of us. And we're headed back home tomorrow because day after tomorrow, I'm headed to down south to Lake Charles. So I'll be driving there on, um, on Monday. Um, I was supposed to pick up the car this morning, my rental, so that I could be on time um, for um, Monday. But... The billing information was not, not there um, from my travel office. So that means I have to go Monday morning first thing and try to take care of that and try to make it um, to Lake Charles in a decent enough time so that I'm not late for the meeting with the president of McNeese State University. <sighs> That's a whole nother story. But everything was really great. Um, I did not take a picture of what I was able to eat. I forgot. You know, we were enjoying um, the dinner and the conversation. And I just don't pay attention. But I was able to eat like maybe two bites of that salmon. I had, And we actually just threw away that box of salmon that they boxed up for us. Because I ate maybe two bites of the salmon and maybe two bites of the sticky rice underneath. Was not able to eat much of that at all. For the appetizer, we had um, the dynamite shrimp. I had um, maybe, a f uh, if there were eight rolls, I had two. So a fourth <laughs> of it and one, sh no, yeah, one shrimp. And so, yeah, and we shared dessert neither one of us finished the dessert so hmm but uh yeah so um a very little but like I told my husband 
It was not about the food. It was about the company, the time, the ambiance, the conversation. All of those things are what I prioritized, not the food. So I didn't feel like I was missing anything. Uh, and that's how you, you, you know, that's what they, t the nurse and the nutritionist and the doctor told me um, when we were talking about changes um, that would have to be made and what would be happening and how to maintain that sense of peace and happiness and not feel all sad that I couldn't eat it. But hey, I didn't feel bad at all about it. You know, I ate my two little bites of salmon and I was satisfied and content. So, but yeah, yeah, it is late. It is, um, well, this clock says 2.44. It's definitely not 2.44. It is uh, 15 minutes until 11. It's 10.45 p.m. So I'm going to get me out of the shower and um, take this makeup off and get ready for bed because I am exhausted. And I don't stay up this late. I'm usually in the bed by 9. <laughs> all right, y'all. I hope you all have a great day. Oh, it's a night. It's night. It's not a great day. It's, it's a night. I hope you've had a great day and um i'll check back in tomorrow toodles well it is the next day may 14 2023 and it is my hubby and my um 24th anniversary we were married on may 14th 1999 it's also mother's day so it's a very special day we're we're not gonna do much we're gonna head back home because y'all i woke up with the worst migraine on this day i mean it was horrible and when we got back home i actually spent the rest of the day in bed just really uh had to sleep that migraine like of all the days of the year to get a migraine, it would be my anniversary. But it's okay. I'm thankful. It was a beautiful day, a beautiful weekend, and we enjoyed it. So we're headed out guys and each time I got off the elevator I always looked at this unusual piece of um, artwork. That sculpture was so intriguing. It was really beautiful artwork all throughout this hotel. So if you're ever in the Dallas area and you're looking for a trendy kind of artsy uh, location to stay, the Hall Arts Hotel which is a Hilton Curio um, property is really really nice. We had a beautiful time. <laughs> I've been 
happy Mother's Day, man. Thank you. Thank you so much. It's whooping me, okay? It is whooping me. Thank you. Did you need that ticket? Did you need this ticket? <laughs> Happy anniversary and good cheer. <sighs> artsy, artsy town. Our section of. So I'm gonna get some coffee out of the thing. I would hope you want So on the way home, I stopped and got some Starbucks because I needed it. And I was hoping that maybe the caffeine from the coffee would kind of help the migraine. So I did get a, a cup of coffee and I also got um, egg bites. And I was able to eat um, about half of this. This is the bacon and Gruyere um, egg bite. It's a good source of protein. And so, yeah, I was able to eat about half of it. And so on the way home, we made a quick stop at the Dillard's in Shreveport because I had another package to pick up. And so I'm here in the bathroom at Dillard's showing off my slip dress that I am so proud to say that I'm able to fit. I got this last year and it was too tight. It didn't fit me like I wanted it to fit. And so since I've lost a bit of weight, I am able to fit it and I love it. Just showing it off. So it is the next day and I have arrived in Lake Charles, Louisiana. You guys, I didn't think I was gonna make it because that headache on the day before had me down for the count. I mean, I was even feeling kind of sickly, like stuffy head, having chills. I even woke up this morning um, with a fever. So I did go to the quick care. They did all sorts of tests. They checked me for COVID, for strep, um, for flu. I had none of those things. They said I had something viral that was no doubt running its course. And um, sure enough, I did 
begin to feel better but um yeah it was it was pretty tough my neck was sore i mean i was like what in the world is going on but um i did manage to get it together my car uh was ready uh late that afternoon and so i did end up getting to lake charles uh later than expected but I was able to make it to the reception uh, with the president. And so here I am just showing um, this room because the last time I was here, I did not bring my vlog camera and I have it this time. So I'm just kind of showing you a little bit of what the room looks like. I have a river um, view. So the, the room, the windows and everything face the river. So it's a really cute room. This is the, what they call the Las Vegas of the South. It's the Golden Nugget Casino in Lake Charles, Louisiana. It's a beautiful place. If you're ever in the area, make sure that you guys check it out. last session of the Universities of Louisiana Management and Leadership Institute. Um, we um, visited all nine campuses starting back in August of 2022. And so this was our last session and it was very, very bittersweet, you know, to see how far we've come. We've made it of, um, the full academic year. Um, and so McNeese laid out the red carpet for us. They had this wonderful trio that played music during the reception. And I think these are students, but they were absolutely magnificent. They really um, made the uh, event that much uh, better. Um, so we enjoyed it. So the next few, cl few clips are going to kind of show you a little bit of the reception. It'll show you what I was able to eat for those of you who are interested in uh, how I navigate events like this post VSG. Um, so yeah, I do continue to focus on the camaraderie, the friendship, and the ambiance and not so much on the food and that's how I get through these situations and I don't miss a thing. So I hope you guys enjoy. Oh, it's <laughs> Wanted to 
come on tonight. I'm in my room, back in my room from our session this uh, evening, the dinner with the president and everything. Let me see if I can get some lights in here. Let's see. Let's see, guys. Let's see. Hmm. Don't know how to make it work. It's just not enough light, you know? This does not work. This is not plugged in. Yeah, it's plugged in, but I guess it doesn't have a. Hmm. Oh well. Let's see. Well, we have that. It's better than nothing. So guys, I'm in my room. I'm back trying to get, I know this lighting is terrible. I'm sorry about that. I wish I didn't have such a bright light. But, let's see if I'll turn it off. So, in, in the room, this is a very nice room. It's just like the room um, as I said, it's just like the room, uh, earlier, I probably did a voiceover for that. I'm thinking it's just like the room, uh, that I was in last month. Well, in March, but, um, the difference is that it has two queen beds. So I guess it's not just like it. It's the layout is similar, but with some noticeable differences. There are two queen beds instead of one king. I have a lake view instead of a wall view and um there is an actual wall here um as you can see there's an actual wall there where in the other room it was um like an opening with a shower curtain or not a shower curtain well some sort of a curtain um with the tub that was um like the standing floating type of tub situation and so um, they have this wall. Looks like it may have been that way previously where it wasn't a wall here. It was just open. Um, I don't know, but yeah. And so it has the same door for the bathroom. I have all my makeup all out. But as you can see, this is where the curtain would have been in this tub area. It's like in a it's a different type of tub area, so. But, yep. That's what we got going on. You guys, I'm gonna take me a pain pill and go to bed, cause so I can get up and be ready to, you know, get after it again tomorrow. So, I'm just kinda looking at my hair here. I'm going to get my hair redone, uh, retwisted. I'm gonna get some color next week so um you know for the summer but all right guys i will see you later Good morning, you guys. It is a beautiful, uh, beautiful morning here in Lake Charles, Louisiana. Um, and I am about to hurriedly get dressed because I got up and did some work this morning. And now I only have about an hour and uh, maybe 15 minutes to get dressed, get fully dressed. But I wanted you to look out at my view. How nice is that? It is really nice. I think if we have the opportunity, we should go out. But our uh, meetings are not at the hotel this time. They are actually on the campus of Magnese State University. Let me see, is this open? 
I can't get it open. I don't know, maybe it doesn't open. Oh well. But anywho, it's a nice, <laughs> it's a nice view. We're right on the lake, so I have a lake view. All right, guys, let me get dressed. I hope you all have a great day today. I will hop back on if I get a moment and uh, show you my OOTD. Okay. <laughs> So this is not my OOTD, it's actually the hairstyle that I did for today, a cute little updo. I think it turned out really, really great. And here I am, um, we are arriving at McNeese at their um, Burton Business Center, which is where we had our sessions for the day. Uh, it was really, really nice, of course. Each university has, has tried to, I guess, one up the other um, with the gifts and surprises that we received. Um, and it was really a great experience. The speakers were great, the leaders, the president, everyone that we got a chance to listen to provided us with great information. And this was a great way to end our leadership management and leadership experience. trying to get some better lighting but I am back in the room it has been a long day and this has been um, this day has been wonderful and this was the end of my management and leadership well not the end of the uh, experience but this was our last campus session we've been to nine campuses all nine campuses in the UL system and this experience has been really really amazing the opportunity to sit with the leadership of each institution, something that, I'm sorry guys, something that I would not have been able to do um, otherwise, you know, I may not have ever had the opportunity to do something like that, to actually have the ear of the university presidents, uh, to be able to, I'm sorry, y'all, <laughs> to be able to uh, speak with them, never mind all that crap on the bed. I had to throw everything out because um, I was looking for something. But anyway, to be able to speak with them and glean from them insights on um, their leadership experiences. And we didn't just get to meet with um, the presidents of the universities, but like all the VPs and even the presidents 
uh, the VPs of the en entire system because each institution has a president and they have their VPs and they uh, the C-suite people like the chief information officer, the chief financial officer, the chief operating officer. They have all of those things, but the system itself, at the system level, there's a president, there are VPs, there are there's a provost, there's all of those things uh, at the in, uh, the system level. And so we got to meet those people as well. And not in uh, a setting where it's just, you know, a bunch of people. No, very intimate settings. We went to each president, well, just about each president's home, and we were able to sit and talk with them and ask any question that we want wanted. And they were very candid, all of them, and they provided very um, candid and, and honest, at least I feel like they were honest responses. And so this experience has been one of the most valuable um, learning experiences in my entire professional career. And I am so thankful to God firstly, and then to the leadership at my institution for recognizing something in me that I may not have seen in myself and, you know, allowed me to experience this uh, management and leadership institute. It was um, an academic year long institute. And we still have one more thing to do, which is our group project presentation that we will be presenting to all of the university presidents, all of the system leadership at the UL system board meeting uh, in a couple weeks. And so that's the our last official cohort event. Um, but we just wrapped up our um, last institution uh, visit uh, this week, uh, tonight. And it, it was fabulous, you guys. It was really, really fabulous. And I encourage you, if you're presented with an opportunity, even if you are skeptical about it, even if you feel like mm, you're not worthy of it, if it is an opportunity that is going to advance you personally as well as, um, you know, educationally, um, in your business, in your industry, in whatever it is you do, go into it with the most open mind and heart that you can and go into it thinking that, you know what, I'm going to get whatever I can get out of this. I'm going to fully immerse myself in the experience and I'm going to really, really um, be open to all the wonderfulness that is, um, you know, at my disposal. So I am so, so happy. Our assistant president, Dr. Jim Henderson, he's really, you know, he, he's such a, um, he's not from academia. He's not from education like, you know, you would think he's from the business sector, but he, he understands uh, people and how to to make things work and how to enhance and build up and build that systemness, which is what we are we um, have within our university system. There are nine universities, nine distinct, unique individual universities, each with their own culture, each with their own um, identity. And so the building that into a system, a cohesive system family is no easy uh, feat. And so I, I am thankful to be um, living this life in such a time as this. So. Good morning, everybody. It is Wednesday, May 17th, and I'm getting ready to get dressed and get checked out of the hotel. Um, I don't know if I showed you. I love it when, you know, your room is personalized. <laughs> you have your name and stuff on the TV. I'm going to show you my view this morning. It's beautiful um, this morning. A little partly cloudy. I hate I can't open my door. I guess they have it um, so that you can't open it. But there is a little patio and they, they say, you know, they have the instructions up there, but... Ah, can't open it, so. But it's such a nice day, and it's so pretty, right? That little area, that little seating area. I don't know if you guys can see. Yeah, I'm sorry, my, my GoPro cut out. <laughs> the battery died. But I don't know if you can see that little sitting area right there. Can you see it? I, I wanted to go down there. Um, 
but I don't know if I'll be able to because I'm actually getting ready to get, get out of here. Um, maybe I'll go down and take some photos, but uh, yeah, it's really nice down there. I may do that before I leave, but um, <clears throat> it is... Uh, so, so I just recorded a whole session section. I'm sorry that uh, my camera's battery died, <clears throat> but uh, yeah, but it's been a great couple days um, being here at the Golden Nugget again. Nice hotel, really lovely casino resort, just beautiful, really. Um, if you're ever in the Lake Charles area, you should really check it out. It's a it's a nice place to visit. Uh, I am right now about to get ready, um, get dressed, get out of here. I'm feeling better. <clears throat> um, not as much congestion this morning. Um, neck is much better because I could not do that on Sunday. It was just too painful. I didn't bring my thermometer, so I, I don't know if I have a temperature or not today. I did on Monday morning, but I'm feeling better um today so whatever it was you know, the doctor said it was viral and it was you know running its course on this has run its course it's Well, that'll do it for our last university visit as members of the University of Louisiana Management and Leadership Institute. And that's going to do it for this vlog. Be sure that before you go, you like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to come back next week for part two of the recap where I will finish off the month of May and June. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you have a great day. Take care. See you soon. Bye-bye.